Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Delphine. <laughs> no, that's my government name. But my stage name is Deb Chanel's 48th World, which is a combination of my first and middle name. Okay, but we're going to be talking about something that Heavy.com put out and the Kempire. He's a regular YouTuber. I think he lives in New York. Uh, he's another person that I watch. So if you like a lot of information or a lot of blogging on the real housewives of atlanta or just reality shows period he's a good one to watch but he's also featured in heavy.com with his expose that he did on andy cohen so like i said i like to shout out people that i like to watch so y'all can have more interesting people to watch when y'all not watching me okay so Go Patreon his channel and tell him Deb Snail's 48th World sent you right on over there. Okay, but he covered a story dealing with Andy Cohen back about maybe a week ago or two weeks ago. And he was saying that um, Andy's show, Watch What Happens Live, has really hit the toilet. The ratings are in the toilet right now. So he's not bargaining as well as someone who can... Hold the reins over the Real Housewives franchise anymore. And then with this one that's developing for Dubai. Which a lot of people keep talking about. And even Andy has pretty much said it too. That Lindsay Lohan won't be featured in the Dubai one that they're bringing out. So you know a lot of stuff happen. Like they say things that happen in Vegas stay in Vegas. Well a lot of things happen in Dubai. And I ain't talking about a lot of good things okay. Uh, but let's just say we'll keep an eye on it. I don't know if I want to review it or not, but it's just a lot of trafficking go on and sex rings and just a lot of ungodly stuff go on in the back. And a lot of musicians, well, I don't say musicians, but people in the music industry, they tend to flaunt and do things for small change or things for big opportunities. They have to go, you know, over there to buy and, and, and mess with all those sheiks and all them folks they really really got all your money and then get degraded and all that stuff and then come back and feel shameless and you know they have to go hide themselves for six months or more to um figure out about what happened to them in dubai but that's just my uh opinion and speculation my conspiracy theory mind just going all awry but if you really want to look up the industry and the things they have to do and they have to go partake over to Dubai. A lot of strange things happen there. Okay. To our artists. But you didn't hear it from me. But okay. We're going to be talking about Andy Cohen. And who in the world could be petitioning for his dismissal. Nobody seems to be happy with Andy these days. But they sure do take a lot of photographs with him. A lot of pictures. A lot of selfies. Miss Nene. Yeah, Ken ain't too crazy about him. Because he always be getting on Kenya for no good reason. Really. Because he wanted ratchetness. That's what he hired her for. So, why is he complaining? Or why is he treating her like a third wheel half the time? Well, she don't care. She getting her money. She does what she needs to do. And she solidifies her position uh, with each coming new season. So, uh, yeah. Was it Nene? Is Nene turning them screwdrivers uh, in his back? Is he? she putting that screwdriver in his back and turning it and turning it and turning it? Ah, behind the scenes because karma is a bitch. Yep, it is. You know, when you do people wrong and it's time for you to pay the piper, it does come back. <laughs> I mean, he just threw Phaedra to the wolves. Now, of course... I think he knew a lot about it. Even Carlos King knew a lot about it. So, I knew that Andy had to know something about this storyline that uh, Phaedra was cooking up to tarnish uh, Portia as well as King, uh, Candy's reputation. And she did a hell of a good job. Uh, but Whitney's pretty much saying, Andy, you look like shit right about now. Pretty much, you look like shit. You in the shit house, Andy. Because now they're trying to decide what, meaning the powers that be, they're trying to decide what they want to do with you. Now, hmm, let's see, you got rid of Cynthia, you got rid of Nene, you got rid of, you should have got rid of Leanne on them, that Dallas franchise of the Housewives, but you didn't. Uh, you kind of kept who you want, 
kind of made uh, Monique seem kind of, uh, you know, unwanted. You know, doing a lot of things with that Candace and her situation. <coughs> playing favoritisms. And we know you like Bethany. We know you like Vanderpump. And we know you like Kim because you gave a spin off to her. But, hmm, why did Kim start a petition? Who started the petition? I just wonder. Erica Jane, did she do it? Who? Because uh, Mr. Andy, he got a lot of people that don't care for him. And with his current show being in the toilet, um, I don't know if he has any more buying or staying power where he gets to call the shots. So, I don't know, Nene, why you trying to run up his butt again and try to say you think you want to come back. Uh, he might be just using you, Nene, to get the ratings to go up a little bit if you come back on the show and act a complete fool. Which I thought you pretty much had left that alone. But I guess with maybe some hardships of your mansion not selling. Um, then you got that um, lounge over there that is probably eating you out of house and home. Because you got employees to pay as well. And then you have not really anything coming in from Bravo. So I can see the anticipation and anxiety mounting up for you. So, but I just don't know if the Real Housewives of Atlanta is what you should go back and partake in. Um, <coughs> I think you're better than that. If they can't give you a show like they gave Porsche a spinoff show, you know. I just think that I don't think you are beyond or above them showcasing your family and trying to get them to act out for a storyline for you would have been a bad thing because, I mean, you pretty much done acted up on him and been horrible, you know, to make public be split between liking you and disliking you. So, um, I don't know. I think you should have went with whatever they were going to give you and then you just put your family out there. Uh, I guess for a paycheck and then everybody would have been happy but I just think Nene you just wanted all the money for yourself and you didn't pretty much want to share that wealth because everybody could have been faking a storyline I mean just because you do this crap on TV don't necessarily mean you act that way in public I'm just saying gotta look outside the box it just could just be for the show and your way of living life because you don't want to work a regular job and have to go with the comings and goings and kind of be mediocre. But, you know, if you got your own business, it's still okay. You still get to make your hours. You still get to do what you want to do. You still have that freedom. But, um, I guess you like the limelight. You like everybody calling your name. You like everybody. You just like living in a fishbowl pretty much. And then you can't deal with living in a fishbowl when you want to go out and have that one-on-one -on -one time with yourself. And maybe your entourage. Because people are going to be like... Um, starstruck they're gonna want that selfie they're gonna want that autograph and they want you to be on your best behavior which basically Nene you're usually not so I don't understand why you want to be a part of something that's gonna get you bigger uh, out there for people to recognize you and then you're not gonna be approachable to them when they see you and you're gonna make all their bubbles that they thought you were a better person come to light that you're really not so, I don't know. Being a business owner, such as owning your own lounge, or maybe a chain of lounge, lounges would have been ideal. But, I don't know. It's like you're barking up the wrong tree. But if you are the one who started a petition, hooray, hooray, hurrah, hurrah for you. But let's get into this article. I have rambled enough about it. Heavy.com brought it out. One of their uh, journalists over there, Effie or. Sandis, um, I guess she's a journalist over there, just a, a writer, um, what do you call it, a blogging writer for Heavy.com. But she titles her piece, Fans Petition to Remove Andy Cohen from Bravo, as rumors swirl that Watch What Happens Live is done. Like, put the fork in it, it is done. Well done, well done. So let's see if we can find that article and um, see what we can put up with it. Because I just saved it. But let me see. Andy Cohen. Petition. 
to leave Bravo. Come on. Alrighty, we got it right here for us to read upon. So, it says, Andy Cohen has been the face of Bravo. I'm asking the same thing. Why? Why, why, why? Is Andy Cohen being thrown out or trying to be ousted out? But we're saying that he's been a part of a Bravo franchise for several years. Not only has he served as the executive producer on all of the Housewives franchises, but he has also hosted Watch What Happens Live and the Housewives reunion shows over the years. Over the past couple of weeks, however, there seem to be some rumors that Cohen's time with the Bravo uh, may be coming to a close, either on one front or on all fronts, according to TikTok user The Kempire. And yes, we gave y'all a, a look see of Kempire. So you can definitely go on over there because he does a lot of commentary with the Housewives franchise and he gets a lot of exclusive news. So I don't know if it's um, some of the cast members feeding him some rumors or he's just doing his due diligence and researching. I don't know. <coughs> but it's interesting to say the least. But going back to the article, <coughs> excuse me, going back to the article, it says, watch what happens live may be canceled due to low ratings. The rumor started thanks to a deluxe Moe blind that suggests a late night show on Bravo was toast. Furthermore, the Kempire suggests that Cohen may not have the same stronghold on the execs at the NBC Universal because the Housewives franchises just aren't putting up the numbers like they once did. Now that's one thing about the big rollers, the elites, the people that are funding this money, putting the money up front, paying the sellers up front, and gonna get their money at the end when the ratings show what it needs to show. Yes, that's where the real money comes in at. Not in this latest article, but just me telling you. Uh and as we all know, who have definitely started with the Housewives uh, franchise for Atlanta. And the other ones that are out there that kind of have popularity um, pushed for them as well. Um, they, they don't stand up anymore. I mean, it's almost like the OGs, the ones that started it, and the ones that continue to, you know, be on the show, such as Nene and Cynthia and um sure right here and there in kim zoziat and then we have the new ones that followed portia kenya candy and uh well cynthia was a, a, a og as well but once they have been circulated and redistributed and you know they're fabricated storylines just keep going on season after season you pretty much are done after five or six seasons okay unless you got something that's coming out that's newsworthy and gossip pending you know something for people to just stop be able to have a conversation about and it continues to manifest itself for the good or for the bad you know what i'm saying so housewives of atlanta has definitely been in its stagnation type of format not giving us anything not necessarily taking anything away but that's kempire y'all uh somebody recognized him on the heavy.com uh he might be getting some plugs some free press of information to keep you know um the numbers rolling for bloggers talking about or having something to talk about somebody may be filtering him information which is a good thing because it makes his channel blow up and he has like seen as the person who has the inside scoop that's dropping the tea so kind of like um we got lovey scott go check her out she's out and about with the celebrities as well i don't know if kim is like rubbing heads with some celebrities but he may be in talk so it's always a good thing to try to Keep your ear down to the ground if you want to make this like a career move where you want to be on television and you want to be doing interviews with said celebrities and things of that nature. But, um, yeah, it doesn't look good for Andy. But, you know, I look like everything has its expiration time. It has a beginning and it has a middle. And it has its peak moments to where 
everything has to come to a halt and new things need to be explored or developed to flourish and you know prevent present itself as something new and exciting and entertaining so it may just be Andy Cohen's time to leave and get involved with something else because I mean just like Wendy Williams show you could only go so long so far but so far so long to where it just comes mundane you know it's just like okay what am I doing who haven't I talked about Always waiting for that next big story to put somebody in the hot seat and see how they're going to fare. Don't know if that's fair uh, to do that to people, but that's just the way our society generates uh, sensational, salacious stories. For people uh, such as myself who don't live, I have to live vicariously to other people sometimes when it talks about real wealth and, and power and greed and all that stuff. Because I'm not built for a lot of that. And I don't want to be in a fishbowl where I have so much money and so much power to where I can't be out with regular common folk. Without feeling like somebody's going to attack me or I'm going to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. They might kidnap me. You know, just a whole lot of things that come with having money. Like that old adage, more money, more problems. Believe it. I'm pretty sure it's true. Uh, But anyway... Going back to the article, it says back in December 2019, Deadline reported that Watch What Happens Live has been renewed through 2021. The show, which has been on the air now for 18 seasons, was the highest rated late night ad supported cable talk show in 2019 among uh, other affiliates at the time. I keep waiting to stop having fun or run out of guests, stories, or booze, but the party rolls on and I couldn't be more excited, Cohen said, following the news of the renewal. TikTok user, the Kempire, said he wouldn't be surprised if Watch What Happens Live would cancel, along with a lot of other, a lot, with a lot of other of his shows. I won't watch Watch what happens live when I'm tricked to see it start when I take one of my Bravo shows. I just got delete. It must be in jeopardy if they are so desperate for viewers. No one else is doing this. One Redditor, Redditor commented on a thread about the cancellation rumors. I can't stand it laugh, laugh out loud. They are super sneaky at how they do the lineup so that the DVR keeps recording until Watch What Happens Live instead of stopping. Super annoying added another. I think that started happening because Bravo realized Watch What Happens Live ratings were slipping. So they hoodwinked people into recording it. I wonder if they then count the recording as a view. A third person wrote. Okay, so it's almost kind of seems like they're trying to do anything, uh, any means necessary to keep his show afloat <coughs> so he can have some staying power or some uh, position where he has a voice in what happens to uh, the franchise uh, of the housewives. But going back to the article, it says, in addition to the rumors that Watch What Happens Live is in trouble, it seems that some fans are hoping that Bravo gets rid of Cohen altogether. The reason? Andy Cohen has been the face of Bravo for well over a decade. Lately, the host of the Real Housewives reunions and Watch What Happens Live is becoming toxic to watch. He displays narcissistic, pompous, and rude behavior on reunion episodes and has come under the fire for allegations of favoritism, racism, and sexism. I wonder what that Nene. Nene, what's that you doing all that girl? I kind of remember it. But anyway, going back to the article, it says the position, uh, the petition on change.org reads, so far more than 850 people have signed it. Um, it's unclear when the petition was started, but it may have been on the heels of reports that Cohen had decided to launch the Real Housewives of Dubai, which has caused quite a bit of backlash. Many fans feel that Dubai wasn't the right choice for new franchise due to the country's differences in beliefs when it comes to human rights. Now, I guess I'm believing or I'm thinking... I have the belief that Dubai is very strong on not showing women in a positive light. 
Um, I think it's a lot of trafficking over there as well, if you get my drift. And um, I don't think they're very fond of or they tolerate the LGBT community. So, yeah, and got a lot of explaining to do. Because he's breaking a lot of laws and a lot of humanitarian um, rights when it comes to his fan base. Okay? On the sexuality part I'm talking about, speaking on. So, it's kind of like he's trying to turn a blind eye on what he say he believes in. And he would uh, toe the line for the rights of his race. Well, I won't say race, but his community and uh, who he's attached to. And Kempire, yes, that's him, a uh, YouTuber here on the tube. He has his own channel called The Kempire. And he talks a lot about, you know, Andy not really being true to himself when it comes to getting into business or in bed with people that does things against his community that he says he reps he loves and all of this but then he's going spearheading and hosting and being a part of the branch off with the dubai um housewives coming out so it's very interesting it's like a two-sided story for and against cons pros um actions reactions and we just want to see how he's gonna fare uh with that so really 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 don't know um uh, like i said was nini one of the um driving forces to put this back in the media of getting rid of andy cohen okay i mean i definitely think sometimes you do need a facelift if that person is not doing what they're supposed to be doing as far as um, garnering, garnering support and doing the best that they can to keep ratings at its all times high. Then that person may lack what it takes to take it to that next level. So yes, I guess you would have to. I don't know how many times Bethany don't came back. And he loves himself some Bethany. <sighs> But, you know, it is some bias when it comes to uh, the whites and the blacks. So I'm just going to keep it real. He just want to talk all sideways when he with the black sisters. Then when he get over there with the Caucasian sisters, you know, he's in another whole frame of mind. He's speaking more affluent, you know, when he's with the um the brown sisters he talking all slang and, and really ghetto and most black people are not ghetto because anybody can be ghetto you know what i'm saying it um it it doesn't say a particular race in my book because everybody on whatever nationality whatever culture whatever race they can be ghetto if we just look at what ghetto means other than them saying it's a low income type of environments and it's usually the minorities you know low income class people where you know it ain't just the uh, brown people that's low income trying to make uh, a dollar stretch trying to make ends meet it ain't just the brown people but that's just my opinion but try to try to get rid of Andy Cohen <laughs> I'm like well Nene had to go if Cynthia had to go, if the band of pump had to go, who else left child? Who else left the show? If Phaedra had to go, hell, he tried to get rid of Kenny, but Cannon and Cynthia bought a bag. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's everybody's time to go when they don't stay overstay their welcome. Yes, you just got to be doing what you got to do. And I think if we change. I won't say producers, but we we get some fresh heads up in there and probably some younger people. Because I think if you've been on the show more than eight years, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to just dust off your, your, your you know, your space and let somebody else come and fill it. Because if you ain't made your money in eight seasons and they paying you real good, half top dollar, top shelf prices, you should invest it really well. And got and and got out what you could have gotten out of it to be let to be able to let somebody else come in and have those same accolades because it's just like retirement. Damn, 
I get mad when I see people that um worked on their job whether they have a cushiony job whether they it was a hard labor type job when it's 62 and 65 it's time for you to go it, it's it's i'm sorry it's time for you to go jo enjoy your life let somebody else have your position so they can reap the benefits that you had when you were in that position living well eating well and you know feeling like you were very well deserving how in the hell anybody else gonna come and 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 uh get to those feet if you never get out of the way you know what i'm saying so i want people to think about that when they're near retirement or almost their retirement retire retire because you never know when your last day is and when you don't sad and thought you don't got all the money that you possibly could one thing in life can change and wipe your whole savings away okay or illness uh 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 um uh, you know, a financial situation that went bad. You know, you might have invested and then somebody just swindled you and scammed you. And you have nothing. Nothing invested. So I'm like, just live your life and, and, and leave the job when it's time for you to go. Stop being greedy. Because then you can have all the wealth and, 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 and the position and the money that you want. And you say, okay, it's time to retire. Then you may die. Or you may have ill health. That will prevent you from living out the rest of your glory years in peace and solid, you know, solitude. You know, no stress, no worries, because you got everything taken care of. But you know, people don't believe me. You know, but I love it when I see people go out, retire, boom, they doing it on thing, they traveling to places they ain't never been before, and they living. You know, on a budget, which is fine. Because when you retire, what all do you need? You ain't definitely got to buy a whole hell of a lot of clothes. You definitely don't have to worry about um, food and, and traffic. You know, how you go and have to prepare your food for the rest of the week. Or you have to you eat out every day. That expense. Going into traffic, you know, um, trying to beat the traffic to work. Trying to beat the traffic from home. Just stuck in traffic all the time. You know, all that anguish and, and um, we call it frustration. Whoo, child. But that's all I had for this video, guys. I thought it was just cute, funny. And is it karma? Is it karma? Because a lot of people feel Andy hadn't done people right. And he done sat on this show like we done had Cynthia Bailey sit on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and just reap the benefits without giving any uh, anything as an example, are you providing uh, for the platform? You know what I'm saying? It's just like you're just coasting. Just coasting, coasting, coasting. And you're not providing anything. So, it may be time for you to go, Andy. The writing might be already on the wall or been on the wall. You just haven't been paying attention to it. Okay? And then talk about you ain't going to leave your... Was he the one saying he wasn't going to leave his, uh, his son, his adopted son being no money? Or was that um that other guy that's best friends with Andy Cohen? He's a uh, commentator too, a news con correspondent. Damn, I can't think of his name. But uh, he's uh, Andy Cohen's friend. He, I think he actually adopted a child too, and he told me he wasn't gone. Cause I think his mom was uh, Gloria Vanderbilt. I can't think of his name. But y'all may know who I'm talking about. Um, you talking about he ain't gonna uh, leave his child in that. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what you are supposed to do. And if your child, you know, squander all the money or whatever, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? So be it. You left before him. What do you think? They sure can't take it with them when they're dead. And he's either gonna go back to the state or it's gonna go to some charity. So you might well go on and give it and let him, him or her do what they're gonna do with it. Make it do what it do. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, definitely come back to the channel. Look at videos, like them, and share them with your friends, foes, or whoever. Okay? It makes my alg algorithm grow, go up. So, that's all I had, guys. I, I don't know why I keep thinking, oh, uh, that dog on Nene done got with some of these girls that and have been doing wrong. And they just done put him on blast and trying to get him out to see. But I don't know, Nene, if, if if he was a good part of bringing you back. Again, you might be biting the hand that feeds you. I don't know. Because 
I'm surprised that you would have wanted to come back. So that shows me your staying power and your monetary power is not there. You got short money. Because most people ain't going to go back. Once they don't did a feat with a company or organization that, you know, either treated them right or didn't treat them right. They ain't going back. They, they, they moving on a high pasture to see what else is out there. But then you coming back to the same old drama, the same old uh, way of them doing things. And you may still be on the outs with the company. But you sit up there talking about, yeah, if uh, we had to have a sit down, we have to come to a meeting of the minds and get some things together. Then, sure, I'll come back. I'm like, girl, you missing a check. Somewhere down the line, you didn't, um, you didn't invest well, Nene. You didn't invest well. But again, that's all I have for this video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.